All right, Chris, thank you. And last night, a firefighter in Paw Paw, Michigan, was killed after coming into contact with a downed power line. State police say he was responding to a call near a highway when a tree broke, causing a power line to collapse, electrocuting him. TV5's Lenita Brooks reports that one utility company works year-round to prevent similar tragedies during the winter months. Our training is to the extent of, I have a downed power line, stay away from it. And for that reason, Grand Blank Township Fire Chief Robert Burdett says they leave those dangerous situations to energy company professionals. We don't touch them with anything. We just let them lie there. And we let the power companies come through and say, well, we can tell it's a deadline because of the fuse being blown uh, or any other reasons, but uh, we, we leave it to them. High wind speeds and freezing ice and rain are common this time of year and together can cause frozen tree limbs to break, fall, and snap nearby power lines. Tracy Wimmer with Consumer Energy says this is why they go out several times a year to evaluate trees that may need trimming. Our forestry program um, has done a lot of work over the last several years, really ramping up efforts to go out and assess trees and, and mark them for trimming before uh, major events like the storm that we experienced this week took place um, precisely because they want to limit the number of, of downed wires or other issues that we see happen when we get these extreme weather situations. She says that in 2022, crews completed 7,100 miles of forestry trimming and maintenance around power lines, addressing the number one cause of power outages in Michigan. Wimmer says even just a half inch of ice can put as much weight on a line as a baby grand piano, causing the line to snap. You see as much ice as we got, uh, even with the uh, extraordinary efforts that we've made over the last several years to, to do that preparatory work, um, it, it was still going to be inevitable that we were going to see a pretty significant damage from such a unique weather situation. Consumers Energy advises anyone who sees a down power line to stay at least 25 feet away and call 911 immediately. For WNEM TV5, I'm Lenita Brooks. Nearly 200,000 people remain without power in southern Michigan. There they were more impacted by freezing rain. Consumer says about a half inch of ice covered Michigan's southern counties, resulting in more than 5,700 downed wires and more than 215,000 outages. This is a live look at where things stand right now downstate. Consumers Energy says a majority of customers' restoration will be done by Sunday, and the work is expected to be completed by Monday.